name is Kara Johnston. I'm the head of product at Techno Save Us. And my name is Daniel Hirschman. I'm one of the co-founders of Technological Sales. It's a computer in your pocket. That's how it's being described. And technically that might be true. The way we've been thinking about it really is that the young person is the computer. They have all of this processing power and creativity and capability. So it isn't anything until it's given to a young person to help them solve a problem that they can imagine in their brain. Yeah, I think the really kind of key opportunity here is it's, it's the bridge between the creative potential with technology. And that's kind of looping it back to what we believe in at Tech Will Save Us. This is kind of at the core part of what, why we started this business. We, it all began actually when we found a, a laptop, a computer in a trash can. And uh, this big trash can had this kind of dusty thing inside it. We opened this thing up, we couldn't believe somebody thought it was appropriate to just throw away this kind of extremely powerful piece of technology. Uh, and it made us realize it's because people don't have access to this kind of bridge. They don't have opportunities to be creative and understand what it goes into making the technology in their lives. Having something in their lives that they didn't buy off the shelf and will never change, will always be the same, unless the software updates. Well, in this case, the young person's brain can totally change the software. They can make it do what they want. They don't like the image on the screen, they can change it. They want to scroll text, they can do that. They don't like text, they want images, no problem, they can do that. They want to connect to their phone, there's the potential to do that too. There's so many opportunities for them to explore their, their creative potential. I'll give you an example. So if the computer that you found in the rubbish bin, it, you, clearly someone didn't know how to fix it, so it's done. It doesn't work, it's busted, you throw it away, you get a new one. It'll be really easy to do that with this as well. In truth, it was given to me for free. That doesn't have a lot of value in my world. If it stops working, I can throw it away. Unless it solves some problems that are really interesting and really central to my life. So we're in this conversation right now, which I find really interesting. And it's about how many contact points one of the components has to have on the board. And so the engineers, for really valid reasons, are saying, let's make sure it never comes off. To be fair, it's a piece of plastic and you can break it. So over-engineering one thing is likely going to create a problem somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Truth is, if you were to remove that component, there's another way around it. Mm -hmm. The young person doesn't have to throw it away because they can solve the problem some other way. Mm -hmm. it's, it's here and it's because it's open and accessible and it has these layers that you can engage with it. Mm -hmm. I think that's what's going to create the potential going forward. I don't think we have to over-engineer it. I don't think we have to solve it in every problem. Mm -hmm. I think it should fail. That's what the world really is, and right? What's, what's, you know, the point, one of the really important points from what you were just saying, because it's not finished, it's just an opportunity waiting to be explored.